beautiful day out here in the middle of nowhere. Peaceful, quiet, but we've got work to do. Today we're grounding these electrical systems the right way and replacing an old sub panel. Let's get into it. If you're watching L Electrician, hit that like button, subscribe, let's get to work. First things first, we've got to drive two ground rods 8 feet deep and 8 foot apart. We're using bare number 6 solid copper wire and remember, no breaks in the connection between the rods and the panel. Clean continuous run. That's the key for safety and compliance. Say that. Using a hammer drill saves time and wear on your body. We drive them deep into the earth full 8 feet. That's how you make sure you've got a solid low impedance path to ground. And now as you can see, we're using something we created here. We literally had a SDS bit here for a masonry bit and we got a 3 quarter inch pipe and literally stuck it around it and beat the crap out of it till it would hold. And that's what we use for a ground rod driver now. And it's been like that for years. Now let's head over to the old town. Here we've got a sub panel mounted in drywall. And as you can see they use old Brady tags. That's how they used to do it back in the day there. Have little tags hanging off of each one but as you can see we got double taps in there. We have all type of stuff that's not supposed to be in there and not up to code. So that is the reason why they are getting a panel upgrade. Make sure you hit that like button, subscribe to the channel if you want to watch another video like this. And the way I like to cut my drywall is I like to use the multi-tool. That to me is the cleanest way to cut drywall. And I like to save the pieces here and put them to the side, put a nail on the side and just keep it for the drywaller for them to come and put it right back. And they can tape in mud and make it seem like nothing was ever there. Saves on time and saves on money. Next, we're removing the Romex connectors. Always loosen the lock ring carefully, then slide the connector out without damaging the wire. No yanking, no guessing. We label everything. Every circuit gets a number and we match it to the current panel schedule. That's right, we reinstall everything goes right back where it was, organized and up to code. Every wire gets tagged and we take notes, power, neutral, grounds, all identified. Every breaker gets labeled exactly how it was in the original panel. And now we're removing the breakers one by one. And this is where taking your time really matters. Every breaker gets labeled exactly how it was in the original panel. If you rush this part or skip the label, it can cause you major headaches later. You might end up guessing where circuits go. Or worse, miswiring something. A few extra minutes here, double checking every wire and label can save you hours of rework at the end. Do it right now and the new panel will come together smooth and stress free. All right, now we've got all the wires labeled. Everything is in the old panel, but we're ready for the next step. It's time to remove the wires from the Romex connectors and center grommet. We take our time here, making sure we do not damage any insulation or lose any labels in the process. This is all about prepping for the new panel install, clean, careful removal, so everything transfers over smoothly. Now that I've got all the hots labeled, I've got them paired up and ready to go. As I start pulling them out the panel, I'm verifying each one, making sure it matches the hot conductor. This step is crucial. You don't want to mix up the neutral, especially in a panel swap, because it could throw everything off. Take your time, double check your pairs, and make sure everything stays in order before we move on to the new panel. And you guys take a look at this comedy bag we just found in the bathroom. I'm not even playing, but they need a Netflix special ASAP. Whoever this belongs to, I respect you, you're different. Time to install the new panel. First, we secure it to the wall and start pulling in the new feeders. Remember, your feeders have to be properly sized to the breaker you're using, no exceptions. Now that the feeders are in, we always follow the same layout. A phase goes on the left and the B phase goes on the right. A is black, B is red. You want to make sure they come in clean and don't cross each other. And that's how we keep things organized and easy to troubleshoot later. This is aluminum wire. So we're applying Nolax to prevent oxidation and reduce heat expansion over time. Once everything is coated, we pre-tighten the lugs now and then come back to torque them to spec using a torque wrench. Just like the label inside the panel says, no guessing, no shortcuts, and that's how you do it right. You know, one thing I've learned over the years, doing it for 18 years now, people might forget what they paid. 
but they never forget the quality. A customer could drop thousands on a job, and five years down the line, they probably won't even remember the price. But they'll always remember how clean the panel looked, how smooth the lights came on, how solid the work felt. That's why it's important to do quality work every single time. No shortcuts, no sloppiness, just pride in your craft because good work that lasts. It speaks for long after you've packed up your tools and driven off. And when they need something again, or when someone asks for recommendations, your name is what comes up. So always leave your mark with excellence. That's what builds reputation, and that's what lasts forever. Make sure you hit that like button, subscribe to the channel if you wanna watch another video like this. All right, so, so far, we got all these in here. And you see we gotta work them in. Cause we got the odds and the evens. <laughs> That's how we're gonna rock with this. So right now we're just looking at uh, what we got over here. What's this, uh, odd? All right, goes on this side, odd goes on this side. Like that. Now we're looking for another odd number. What is that, even, 20 is an even, 16 is an even. 22 is an even, 4 is an even, 24 is an even number, 24 is an even number, let's see what we got here, 22 is an even number, we're looking for odds, any odd numbers, 10 is even, 14 is even, mm, 26 is even, 26 is even, 18 is even, and we have four is even, two and four is even, six and eight is even. So it looks like these are all our evens over here, which I'm gonna land on this side. So this is my last odd number, which is a 15. So we're gonna put it right here. these in here, this is a Romex connector. Slide that puppy right in there. Make sure this, this does have a directional, so that's the flat part there that'll grab on. And this side, I mean, it goes both ways, but it does have a direction that, it, that, that it's supposed to go in, so. Yep, tighten that up here. Make sure you knock this in a little bit. Nice tight. We need that loose. Go ahead and tighten them up now. There it is. Make sure everything is nice and tight. Now you get your wire nice and even. Comb it very nice. Get it in there. And you can even open it up a little bit with your number two square tip. And you open that beauty up. Like that, nice and tight. But don't tighten up the bottom yet. So, what I do is to make it look nice, I'll go ahead and uh, stagger these up. bend in that so it'll look nice and then tighten that down make sure that's in the center there just like that not too tight go ahead and give your little bend there it is beautiful she is all right there. So then now you can cut these back. Now you can cut these back a little bit. You know what I mean? You'll have enough. You got all your odds. You're gonna have all your evens here. So they just come down and do what they have to do. And they come down like that. They can do what they have to do. They're not crossing each other, you know? 
odds and evens make sure you do get that right make sure you hit that like button subscribe to the channel if you want to watch another video like this so that's what we've gotten so far got all the odds and the evens in now it's time to land everything all right, again, so I got all my odds and all my evens. And this is the important part right here. First, I do my grounds, right? Went ahead and put a ground bar right there so that these will stay on this side and these will stay on that side on that ground. But uh, very important right here, put a bunch of zip ties, right? Because we're just training the wires. Yeah, I know you guys are like, well, zip ties cost about $100 a piece. We use so many. Yeah, no. We're using a bunch of zip ties and we're just training them and they all the zip ties come off at the end so we're just having them on there just to train once we get everything landed on the lugs then we'll take the zip ties off or maybe we'll leave one or two on there maybe one at the bottom one at the top one in the middle three and that'll be it so that's the next step right there i'm making up a panel make sure i get all my grounds in first odds evens and then we'll work on the neutrals Make sure your connections are tight, you want it secure, not damaged. I've seen too many panels where the wire almost pinched in half. We start with the ground wires, making sure everyone is bonded and secure. Lots of zip ties here, clean work matters. Uh, we are in the middle of nowhere. I don't even have cellular here. I'm on SOS. Yeah, we in the middle of nowhere. Y'all take a look. That way, mountains. That way, mountains. The only reason it, this is a their shed, but mountains. Yeah, beautiful. I love it. Over there, mountains. And over here, a panel of grade. After grounds, we move on to the neutrals. Every screw torqued to spec, every wire nice and neat. And finally, we land the power wires. Breakers go in last. The panel looks clean, labeled, and bulletproof. We've got solid grounding, a brand new panel. Only thing is, it's a lot cleaner, labeled and up to code, and an organized layout that any inspector would appreciate. If you learned something or just respect clean electrical work, smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, and drop a comment if you have any questions. This is L Electrician, and we're out here getting it done no matter where the job takes us.